Hello everyone, I'm Alan Partridge, Adobe eLearning Evangelist, and today I wanted to show you some of the additional new features in Captivate 5 related to text-to-speech and text-to-speech generation. So with this particular version of Captivate, we've now included some additional voices that were not included in previous versions. The first thing I want to show you is that here in the slide note panel is where you will now work with everything related to text to speech, everything related to your notes, and everything related to your closed captions and so on. And basically you do that by going through any of these bits and pieces and features. Now I'm just going to take my notes and convert them to text to speech just by toggling this little button. So that immediately will make the thing that I have as a note the script for the text to speech. And then I want to work with the text to speech, so I'm going to click this button. Now, inside the text-to-speech management system, you're going to notice that at the top, you see a drop-down menu that lets you pick who you want to assign to a given piece. Well, the first thing you have to do is select the actual element that you want to assign that voice to, because you could have many, many different lines in a given slide, so you want to make sure you select whatever the line is, and then choose from here, choose the voices, okay? Now, we of course have included Kate and Paul just as you've seen in previous versions but we've also now added three additional voices and I'll show you a little bit more about those in a second so we'll start here with Simon and what we do is we simply click the generate audio button and then Captivate will automatically generate the audio recording for Simon's voice and then I click close and then once I've done that I can quickly go to the slide that we just recorded and play that sound. Adobe Captivate 5 includes new voices so you can see that now we've recorded the voice, and Simon is in fact a British English voice. And in fact, I've done several. You can several use those new voices to create custom voiceovers for your projects. So it's great to be able to have this as a feature. Um, in addition to Paul and Kate, which were included in the previous version of Adobe Captivate, we now include Simon, Juliet, and Stefan. And the great thing about Juliet and Stefan is that while obviously Simon is intended to be used for uh, British English, uh, Juliet and Stefan are going to give you French and German localizable uh, voices. Simon is intended for British English recordings. Juliet is used for French text to speech. And let's see what Juliet sounds like here. Juliet est utilisable pour le texte à la parole en français. And, of course, apologies if I have my French wrong. I, I used a translator, obviously. And then uh, the same thing with Stefan. Let's listen to Stefan in German just quickly. Stefan ist zwar ein Viertel an Text-to-Speech in deutscher Sprache verwendet. So you can see, that's just a quick overview of the kinds of things you can do with text-to-speech generation. One of the more exciting things that's now, now available in addition is also... If you are hoping to localize in a language not included, do not dismay. Adobe Captivate 5 can now find voices that you have already installed, so you can even use voices that did not come with Captivate. And of course, you may have noticed that exact thing when I was working before. So if I go here again and I open that text-to-speech dialog, you'll see that, in fact, Microsoft Sam, which is the default voice with Windows, is actually included. Or if you're on a Macintosh with the new Captivate 5 for Mac, you'll see that all the Mac voices are there as well. And if you have additional localized languages installed on your machine, on your system, uh, you can take advantage of those localized languages as well. So text-to-speech, well-expanded, really a great opportunity to play around, do some interesting things.